I love science. I'm addicted to doing experiments and getting results. There's nothing more exciting than looking at data and finding something new that you didn't know before. It's just an amazing thrill. And it's especially a thrill when you think that it might actually be helpful to people to cure this devastating disease. I'm Charlie Glabe. I'm a professor at the University of California in the Department of Molecular Biology and Biochemistry. My work is involved in determining the structure of amyloid that is believed to be the causative agent of Alzheimer's disease. So with the Cure Alzheimer's Fund funding, what we found is that there are three major different classes of amyloid structures when it aggregates in the brain. My role in the consortium is developing specific antibodies that recognize these three different types of amyloid structures. So we provide them as tools to the other members of the consortium so that they can help us address the question of which ones of these amyloid structures are the ones that are responsible for causing the disease and for designing therapeutic agents that can be used to target these toxic oligomers. Everybody that's a part of the consortium is doing some cutting edge aspect of research in this field. So Rudy's been identifying new genes that are causally linked to Alzheimer's disease. David Holtzman has been able to measure the turnover and the production of amyloid in the interstitial or cerebrospinal fluid of human patients. Sam Gandy and uh, Virginia Lee is also developing tools and animal models. All of these people are cutting edge scientists with new technologies that we can apply. And by bringing everybody together, we have a diverse range of things that none of us could do individually in our lab alone, but together we can do them and we can do them rapidly rather than waiting until it had been published, which might take a couple of years. So the way it was evolved was it, we identified the problem, we've tried to cover all the different possibilities, and we tried to figure out who's the best person in the world that can address each one of these pieces of the puzzle. So that's what's very different about this approach to Alzheimer's disease versus the, the Lone Ranger approach where you have individuals working by themselves and only randomly getting together and discussing their results maybe once a year. It's a very different model. For me, the main thing for the Cure Alzheimer's Fund is that they were willing to take a risk on early stage technology, an early stage promise where it wasn't completely developed. It was a good idea, but it hadn't been completely reduced to practice yet. For me, that was the big advantage because that early money allowed us to use that to create these tools that we can now use to ask what is causing Alzheimer's disease and how can we cure it. One of the, the most promising new ideas that we have now is an active vaccine that takes advantage of this disease-specific structure. So we would like to create an active vaccine that, is, that will give rise to antibodies that will bind and recognize and neutralize or inactivate this toxic oligomer amyloid structure. I've been very proud to be associated with the Cure Alzheimer's Fund because it's a really great group of investigators that are all world-class researchers in their own right. But together, you know, the, the group is certainly a classic example of where the whole is greater than the sum of the individual parts.